news, it just keeps on coming as Bananarama have just released a brand new single, Feel the Love, and they're here now to talk all about it. Oh, wow, well, it's Karen. so lovely to have you. Uh, I'm very excited about this new single. I'm not going to lie, feel the love. Yeah. I'm always feeling the love from you two. Well, so, very positive message <laughs> in this one. Is that what you want? You want is something yeah. positive, yeah. something yeah. uplifting? Yeah. Well, we need it in these times, don't we? Yeah, we absolutely it was about do. believing in yourself and not letting people get you down. And there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, hopefully. And is it want. similar sounding to your old music? Well, well people say it has a nod to the. Um, to the 80s, but that's quite difficult not to because it's us two singing. It's your style, isn't it? Yes. yes. I mean, but whatever, it's whatever we tackle, people always say, oh, God, you, you sound like Banana Rama. It's like, mm, there's a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit Banana rama -y for me. A little oh, bit too Banana Rama. <laughs> I'm not yeah. happy with that. Do you yeah. still get a buzz listening to your stuff on the radio? Like, and when, you, when, you, when you hear a new song, do you still get that same buzz that you did? I, yes, because it's been 40 years, so you think, will people still play it? Will people still want to know? And so when you do hear it on the radio, yeah, it's still, yeah. I guess you appreciate it even more. New and old. Yeah. You yeah. still get Definitely. the buzz when you hear an old one. And yeah. Sort of turn it up. Well, listen, I mean, I was, you were there on Radio 2 in the park this summer yeah. and your crowd was insane. Yeah, I, mean, was, I know. I mean, like I Long said to you, it was kind of, uh, we've played a lot of big shows, big festivals, but actually turning up there and um, being interviewed by you, when we looked out at the crowd, it was just like, yeah, they were phenomenal. Yeah, and everybody's days. so involved and Incredible, having such a great it? time. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, let's see some of the new stuff. This Feel is, the love. Uh, this is Feel the love. Take a look. Yes, I mean, that is amazing. <laughs> I love the feel of this. Of course, this comes from the new album, Glorious. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what can we expect from the album? Well, it's a triple kind of vinyl celebrating 40 years. Yeah, four, four decades. decades. Yeah. So 40 it's... songs yeah. that we've Selected. chosen ourselves. You so... don't even look old enough for four decades. No. Oh. Honestly, <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? It does seem ridiculous sometimes. I mean, but, you know... And you remember it like it's yesterday? A lot of yeah, it. Yeah, some of it, not so much. And not some of it, not. A couple of lost years in there somewhere. <laughs> like well, um, so you've done, is it six new songs for this? You've written six? We've done, well, we actually wrote six, but we've chosen two to be the singles. Yeah. And then we've chosen, like, some of our favourite cuts and fan favourites. And then the, the hits as well, so it's not like a greatest. I was going to say, have you done a few kind of B-sides and deep cuts? Well, there's like CDs, well. CD yeah. with loads of remixes on. And we've done the, the most new... fantastic coffee table oh, yeah. book, which sort of charts the fashion I love that goes that. along with the music. So That was a big thing in the side. I remember West in the 80s. Stuff, stuff that yeah. mostly Sarah still keeps, whereas... In the back of the cupboard, <laughs> I couldn't like, believe it. It was all like Westwood and Galliano. Can you just not get rid of it? Are you a good hoarder for that? Well, or... it's got moths in it. But then again, why would you want to get rid of it? It's like stuff from back in the day. sell it. But the, exactly. <laughs> but I love the story of when you were first starting out and you didn't have any money, you, you were basically... I mean, the fashion came from necessity rather than yes. rather than you being able to go and buy stuff. Yeah. So was it your, whose grandmother was it? Karen. I had my grandma's sewing machine. We made a lot of stuff and we bought stuff from markets, but we'd alter it and, you know, you cut stuff off and, yeah. Were you As studying you textiles or anything to do that? No, I like... was reared sewing, making clothes. Yeah, it was, it was always cheap. Yeah. Unflattering. No, it was the, I remember back oh, in my the day, God, look. the style was everything. Yeah. Like, what are they wearing? What but they it was, when I think it was the do-it-yourself thing, you yeah. know, with, the, with whatever we wore, people felt it was uh, achievable and not wearing sort of Chanel. Yeah, um, like you are today. It's kind of gone 180, <laughs> yeah. though, look. <laughs> Always, Some every day. Pictures, you could wear that stuff now in a heartbeat. Yes. And, like... and it was funny, because my yeah. daughter, you know, thing, things cycle round, and then she ended up wearing all my Westwood stuff and looked much better on her. And I've just <laughs> given her a batch of old stuff as well. Yeah, so, she's uh, lovely. Yeah, yeah, she looks great in it. I can't believe you were in the Guinness Book of Records for being the most successful yeah. female band. Yeah, yes. well, the most done... charted hits. What do you get yeah. for that? Do you get, like, a little something to put on the no, wall? We went on a bus with a dog. whoever was doing it at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> at the time. <laughs> That was really a special nervous. treat. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't see us losing the record, because who else is going to go for as long it's as us? It's a memorable day, well, that's yeah. the thing. It's like, so it's 30 UK 
top 10 or top 40 hits. Mm -hmm. Something like that. That's yeah. amazing. I don't think even I could name them all. No. <laughs> Some people so would say, well, now you're playing live. Out. That was a lovely thing seeing you yeah. live this summer. Yeah. In that, like, you've, the body of work you've got, You've got you've got enough you've got enough great singles and great songs for people to come off and go oh they didn't play that you know yeah. and that's that's always know. what you want and isn't they get it? really upset when you don't play it isn't it <laughs> yeah Not, yeah and what's but, lovely is you get new uh, people who can appreciate your music yeah. younger generation yeah. now what do they make of it. Yeah, we always peep out before a show and think, oh, God, they're really young. Do you think they're not going to know yeah. us? And they do, obviously, <laughs> yeah. via their parents and they're all over or whatever, yeah. yeah. And the Palladium next year, how exciting yes. it is. Yes. April What's happening? The third. Just really exciting, because it's all part of the celebrating four decades. It's a legacy. It is a legacy. <laughs> well, yeah. how do, where do you put your energy down to? Because, you, you know, you, yeah, you, you yeah. Just got, you've got great work ethic and you're just not, not slowing sweet. down. No. Do very little of that. Are you in a <laughs> bit of yoga? <laughs> no. No, not at <laughs> all. Exactly. Oh, um, no. I think it's just loving what we do. Yeah. I mean, there are moments where you're in a dressing room backstage and you think, oh, <laughs> this again. <laughs> <laughs> be, I'm then, you, drink, you. you know, you, you just go out and you just... It's, the, it's like you said, when, when you hear the crowd sing along, when you see them there, do it. it just Absolutely. lifts you and gives you that energy. Yeah. Listen, you Banana Rubber's new single, Feel the Love, is out now. The new album, Glorious, the Ultimate Collection, uh, released on the 8th, the, uh, 8th in 2024. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.